With earnings going to charity, the Governor's Charity Steer Show has a wonderful impact on many Iowa communities. Mike Pearson is at this popular event. Welcome to the 35th edition of the Governor's Charity Steer Show. The 2017 class of celebrities and their steers have already begun to enter the show ring. When this event was started in 1983, then-Governor Terry Branstad requested the proceeds from this charity event be given to the Ronald McDonald House Charities of Iowa. Thank you. Governor Kim Reynolds is continuing the tradition for this year's event. It's an honor to carry on that tradition. There wasn't even any hesitation whatsoever. This is such an important industry to the economy, and this is the 35th year, and I am honored and proud to be continuing the Governor's Celebrity Steer Show. The governor told me uh, this afternoon, she said, you know, we're, I tell you, we're partners in everything, but tonight we're competitors. This is number five. Is it five? Yes, it is, and it's incredible to get asked to come back and get to handle such amazing animals. Like, tell me about why you wanted to be part of the Iowa Governor's Charity Steer Show. Because people ask me, do you want to do it? I have been showing Floyd County Steers at the uh, Governor's Charity Steer Show for 11 years. Look at that smile on Bill Northey's face as he's looking at our judge over here. We want to say thank you to everyone that came out and helped us after the wildfires. It was really amazing to get the outpouring of love and help that we got. And I understand you moved from New Jersey to Iowa, right? Why did you want to do that? Why wouldn't I want to do that? Well, that's a great answer. It is one of my favorite activities for the Iowa State Fair because it does such great work for so many families that really do need a place to stay when they have children that are being cared for. We couldn't think of a better charity to work with than the Ron McDonald House. We've got an officer at our department whose family was uh, served very well by them while their daughter was going through leukemia. So anything we can do to help out, we were more than happy to do. I think the show ring is paying more attention to the consumers than it did a generation ago. And certainly you think of a steer Almost 1450 here is uh, is not overdone. It is a, a testament to the producers. This year's steer judges are Mark Core from Pleasantville and his daughter Bailey Boyer. They have their work cut out for them. While Core and Boyer are sizing up their top picks, a battle for showmanship and people's choice is taking place on the other side of the arena. It's Alec Gatto and thanks a million. Now it's time to return to the other side of the arena and see who the judges pick as this year's winner of the 35th Governor's Charity Steer Show. doing within this great state fair with these youth and what we're doing to help them learn to me the things that are so critical. I think this world was built on competition and we're teaching these young people how to be great competitors each and every day. Here we go. It's Governor Kim Reynolds and Smokin' Willie. They've worked so hard to get this deer ready and to show, and uh, this is the second time we've won with this family, so it is really a family uh, business, right? You yep. guys spent a lot of time doing it right. 